A local university student will soon travel to South Africa to help people in struggling communities. Mel Warhurst is going through an international exchange program and she's here to tell us all about it. Good evening. Good evening. Now what part of South Africa are you going to? Uh, I'm staying in Cape Town so we get placed in an area around the townships there mm. on where is needed for the placement. Did you get to choose that location? Yes, uh, in sorts of ways. So I got to choose South Africa, mm -hmm. but Cape Town in specific was chosen by the actual volunteer. So what was the attraction of South Africa? Um, you hear about the poverty and how a lot of people don't want to go over there because it is so unsafe and a lot of people just they don't really want to go. So I thought, well, why not? Why, yeah. go, why not go and help? Okay. How long will you spend there? Um, I'm, I have a three-day tour when I first get there learning the safety, what to do, what not to do and just learning about the history and then I'm on my placement for three weeks after that. Do you have any idea what you'll be doing in the community as yet? Uh, I know I'll be working in a crash, but there is still the unknown of what exactly I'll be doing. Mm. I'll be organising events, um, so the Tyree Rugby Club and John Freeland has given me rugby balls to take over so I can um, help within the community there mm. and also help with the education as well. And why did you decide to put your hand up for this kind of experience? Um, I decided that I needed a new challenge. I was kind of getting bored of the same old and I thought why not help people while I'm doing my challenge. Mm. What will you be hoping to achieve? Personally I think just seeing the cultural, uh, getting a cultural awareness and seeing the differences between how they live over there, how we live over here mm. and just the differences between the rich and the poor and how we can help. Mm. What do you think you'll get out of it? Um, I think yeah, the cultural awareness and personal development, so when I come back just having an understanding of other people around me and mm. also the satisfaction of helping within the crash mm. and giving them the new ideas. Can you tell us a wee bit about the International Exchange Programme? Sure, so I'm going through IEP, so they're um, working worldwide basically in lots of different countries. So the reason I chose them was because they, they offer you a very personal experience so for me, um, I got to choose yeah, my placement and I get to do the different activities while I'm over there. And you can see exactly where your money's going, so 70% of it does stay within the country. Mm. Is it a fully funded program or do you have to fundraise to get yourself there? No, I am fundraising to mm -hmm. get there. Yeah, I'm working to save up before I go. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah. Have you done anything like this before? Um, not necessarily. I've never been and volunteered overseas. But I've done volunteering and sports coaching in New Zealand mm -hmm. and we've also hosted Thai students. So we went and visited them in Thailand a few years ago so that was really cool as oh, well. Right. What do you think the hardest part will be? Uh, I think the cultural shock will be the main thing. So when I get over there seeing the racism, the inequality, everything like that, like it's easy to talk about it but actually seeing it when I get over there mm. will be very hard. Oh wow. well, yeah. good luck to you. Mal Warhurst, uh, International Exchange student, soon to be. Thanks very much for your time. That's okay, thank you.